This video demonstrates how to model workers carrying parts between stations. To do so, we will create a production line with a source, two stations, and a drain. Then we click the toolbar resources and insert the objects which the worker requires to do his job, namely the workplaces associated with the individual stations on which he works. The worker pool is from which he walks to the workplaces and where he stays when he's not working. The broker is who assigns the services which the station requests and which the worker executes. The worker processes the part to the station, picks up the process part at and carries it to the station one. Then he processes the part at station one. We open the station and click to the tab Importer. We select Active to activate the use of services. We then need to tell the station that the worker is to carry the parts away. To do so, we click the tab Exit Strategy, select Carry Part Away, and click Apply. This shows additional dialog items for this strategy. We select the MU target, which is the workplace to which the worker carries the part. We also activate the importer for Station 1. When we click Reset and Single Step Simulation, we see that the worker pool now holds one worker providing the standard service. We then reset and start the simulation again and watch how the workers process the parts at the stations and carry them from station to station. The worker uses Workplace 1 to process the part at the station and to pick the part up and Workplace 2 to place the part and to process the part at station 1. We want to modify the model so that the worker will process the part at Workplace. Pick the part up at Workplace 1, carry the part to Workplace 2, and process the part at Workplace 3. To do so, we define two different services, one for processing the part and one for carrying it away. Double-click the station to open its dialog. On tab Importer, switch the inheritance of the services by clicking the green button next to Services. Open the table Services by clicking the button Services. Replace Standard Service by Process and click OK. On the tab Exit, open the table where the services are defined. Now we enter Carry instead of Standard Service and click OK. Click OK to close the dialog of the station. Now open the dialog of Station 1. Click the tab Importer. We again switch off inheritance of the services and enter Process as the service. Next, we have to assign the supported services for the workplaces. Double-click the workplace to open its dialog. Switch off inheritance of supported service. Open the table and enter Process. Now the worker has to use this workplace when supporting the service process. Close the table by clicking OK and then close the dialog by clicking OK. We repeat this for Workplace 1, but now we enter Carry as supported service. For Workplace 2, we also enter Carry as supported service. Double-click the icon of the worker pool to open its dialog. 
Switch off the inheritance of the creation table and open the creation table. In the table which opens, we add the services, process, and carry. Press OK to close the table and OK to close the dialog. Reset and start the simulation. Now the worker will use the workplaces as we intended them to be used.